Now see, we have seen the moment of energy of ring. Suppose if you have got a disc, like this is here the disc, and you want to calculate moment of energy about this axis. Disc is rotating like this, whose radius is r and mass is m. So we can write moment of energy about this axis is equal to half m r square. Now, if you have calculated, if you have taken suppose a cylinder, this is a cylindrical body that is a solid cylinder. In that case also, and this cylinder is rotating about this axis. You can also calculate its moment of energy about this axis that is also is equal to half m r square. If you have taken in place of this, here the hollow cylinder. So, if you are taking hollow cylinder like this and this is rotating about this axis. So, we can write moment of inertia is equal to m r square. So, this is the moment of inertia of the hollow cylinder about the axis of the cylinder. Now, we can take similarly hollow sphere and solid sphere. So, for hollow sphere, we can write here moment of inertia about this axis and this radius is r and this is m i is equal to 2 by 3 m r square. If it is the solid sphere, then we can take here in place of this for now here the solid sphere. this is the solid sphere, we can take moment of inertia, this is the radius and this m mass is m. So, i is equal to 2 by 5 m r square. So, this is the moment of inertia of the solid sphere. So, we can also take moment of inertia of thin rod. Suppose, this you have got the rod like this of mass m and length is l and you want to get moment of inertia about this axis. So, you can write i is equal to m l square by 12. Suppose, you have taken here the x y plane like this, this is x and y and this is the point O here. A particle is lying here whose position vector with respect to origin is suppose r. Now, when you apply force to this side, this angle is given here, certain angle suppose theta and this particle goes from P to Q, this angle is theta. Then this displacement is suppose here d theta. Then in this case work done is given by d w is equal to torque into d theta. So, by this formula we can calculate the work done by the torque. If you know the work done, then we can write d w by d t. Now, we have we are differentiating with the time. Here d w upon d t is equal to torque into d theta upon d t. So, we can write this as power. So, power is equal to torque into omega. So, actually this derivation no need to derive this one. So, when the body is rotated by a small angle d theta, then the work done by the torque is equal to here tau into d theta and the power associated with this p is equal to tau into omega.